The other day in my One Punch Hunter build video, I mentioned we'd be taking a look at the newly buffed Code of the Juggernaut paired with Worm God Caress. We're going to do that, but we're going to also mix things up and have a bit of competition here to see which subclass tree paired with which exotic can do the most damage. The two Titan subclasses we'll be pitting against each other are Code of the Devastator and Code of the Juggernaut. And what we'll do here is pair each of these subclasses with an exotic, Syntheseps and Worm God Caress. The question we'll be answering is what is the strongest melee build for Titans? Those of you who have been keeping up with the updates to Destiny 2 will know Code of the Juggernaut, aka Bottom Tree Striker, just recently got buffed so that the Frontal Assault and Knockout perks are stronger and easier to use. This has caused Worm God Caress to see a lot more use in both PvE and PvP. And today we're going to put Worm God Caress up to the test against Syntheseps and match them with different subclasses to see which one comes out on top. We'll begin with Syntheseps, the intrinsic perk for the exotic gauntlets reading, Increased melee lunge range, improved melee and super damage when surrounded. So it's important to note that unlike Worm God, the Syntheseps actually buff your super damage, which definitely makes it a strong exotic, but since we're not testing super damage, we'll only focus on the melee. Our base melee damage without any buffs or exotics from the bottom tree striker is 1498 from one punch. Keep in mind this was tested in the core terminus loss sector, the most northern one on Mars. When it comes to middle tree sunbreaker, our throwing hammer actually hits for 2262. So the Sunbreaker has a bit of an advantage already when it comes to melee damage, but we'll have to see what it's like after all the buffs. Using Syntheseps Biotic Enhancement ability, we're able to hit for 4,493 damage. Now we can stack this with the perk Knockout, which reads, Critically wounding an enemy or breaking their shields increases your melee range and damage. This was buffed on April 9th, and the following changes were made. Buff duration increased from 3 to 5 seconds. Buff is no longer disabled after a melee attack. In addition to breaking a shield, buff now triggers once you deal 60% damage to a target. Any damage dealt after 60% refreshes the timer. And increased bonus melee damage from 25% to 60%. Now, critically wounding an enemy also counts as killing them, and knockout can be kept going with weapon damage too, which is pretty awesome. Basically, you get a 60% damage buff for 5 seconds that can continuously be refreshed. Pretty simple. So stacking Knockout with Syntheseps Biotic Enhancements ability, we're able to achieve 7,188 damage from one melee. This one melee took away about a quarter of one of the bars from the boss's health, so not terrible since you can spam your melee and really chip away at his health fast, but we definitely want more damage than that. The perk we'll be taking advantage of in the Code of the Devastator is Roaring Flames, which states, Kills with your solar abilities increase those abilities damage. Stacks up to three times. So you can stack Roaring Flames from your grenade, your throwing hammer, or your super. We'll be pairing this with Syntheseps Biotic Enhancements to see if it can really add a nice punch to our throwing hammer. Keep in mind here that Roaring Flames does not increase the actual physical punch, but only your abilities, and the melee ability in this tree is technically the hammer. So going up to point blank range and meleeing him is not going to do anything. Stacking them together gives us 11,722 damage from one throwing hammer. This is going to take away half of one bar of his health. So almost 12k up from 7k is a pretty good jump and definitely makes your melee very strong. So let's see how Worm God compares to Syntheseps. Unlike Synthos, Worm God Caress actually focuses solely on melee, so you're missing out on that extra super damage, but let's see if it's worth it. Worm God Caress's intrinsic perk reads, Melee kills increased melee damage for a period of time. Additional kills extend duration and increase effects. So this period of time is actually 5 seconds. It refreshes to what says 4 seconds every kill, but that's because the game counts 0 as a second. And it can be stacked up to 5 times. So pairing it with Code of the Juggernaut, we'll actually be able to stack up Burning Fist to 5 times with Knockout. Knockout itself bumps our melee damage up from 1498 to 2396 damage, but Burning Fist and Knockout together lets our melee hit for 17,970 damage. That's a pretty big leap from the highest damage we could achieve previously, so it's not looking good for Syntheseps. Our final test will combine Roaring Flames, which stacks up to three times, and five stacks of Burning Fist to hopefully give us some sort of Mjolnir. Burning Fist times five from Worm God itself is almost able to beat the Code of the Devastator and Synthos combo landing at 11,231 damage from a single hammer. 
When we combine a full stack of Burning Fist and a full stack of Roaring Flames, here's the damage we're able to get from our new insanely good throwing hammer. 29,305 damage, just shy of an entire bar of this boss's health. The competition isn't even close. Worm God Caress paired with Middle Tree, Sunbreaker is almost able to triple the melee damage of Syntheseps and Middle Tree, which is a lot of damage. No, that's a lot of damage. Now, of course, you might be wondering what happens if you add in the new perk 1-2 Punch from the Last Man Standing Shotgun. Well, we know for sure it's going to buff the melee damage coming from the Bottom Tree Striker. Doesn't matter which exotic you use. You can see here with Knockout, Worm God, and 1-2 Punch, we're able to hit for just over 80,000 damage. But what we really want to know is if it can actually buff your throwing hammer. Oh, it can. Adding in the perk 1-2 Punch from the Last Man Standing Shotgun on top of 5 stacks of Burning Fist and 3 stacks of Roaring Flames lets us completely obliterate this Lost Sector boss in one throwing hammer. 87,915 damage. I want to give a quick shout out to Bohemian Matthew for letting me use his account. He is a lifesaver, thank you so much dude. It was super cool of him to let me jump on his account so I could actually get to use 1-2 Punch since I still have not gotten that bastard to drop. So in conclusion, here's our damage numbers from each pairing. Even after the buffs to Bottom Tree Striker, Middle Tree Sunbreaker remains the king of melee damage. Bottom Tree isn't that far behind though, if you add in the shotgun, but that 7000 damage definitely makes a huge difference the more buffs and debuffs you add on top of it. But these numbers just represent the highest damage possible with one melee. Going by that, Middle Tree Sunbreaker wins hands down. Although I have to say, after playing with the newly buffed Striker, it is just so much fun. It allows you to melee everything and get your health back, and honestly, it's easier than using Throwing Hammer. While you won't be able to hit what the code of the Devastator combo can, you'll make up that damage by your ability to spam melee attacks, not to mention you've got the extra weapon damage and stability, which makes a huge difference, and also the ability to extend your super by a lot, which is even more of a reason to stick with Code of the Juggernaut. I'd say it's just an overall more fun subclass that feels viable in any activity if you're able to pair it with Worm God. Top Tree, Arc Strider, and Bottom Tree Striker are two must picks now. The buffs they got just really changed the subclasses, especially in PvP. Speaking of the Crucible, both the Code of the Devastator and the Code of the Juggernaut trees are amazing here. You can one-hit people with the Throwing Hammer if you get one ability kill beforehand, and if you're using Code of the Juggernaut, I encourage you to pair it with Insurmountable Skullfort and the Swashbuckler perk. Why? Well, if you're able to get a melee kill with your ability, it will activate Knockout, Frontal Assault, and 5 stacks of Swashbuckler. Knockout gives you increased melee damage, Frontal Assault gives you a big buff to your weapon damage and stability, and 5 stacks of Swashbuckler is equivalent to 3 stacks of Rampage. So together, they allow you to 2-tap people in the Crucible. Using Skullfort ensures you can get that melee ability back more often, and you start to see how just overpowered this is. So for all you Titans out there, don't sleep on either of these subclass trees, and definitely don't pass up on Worm God Caress. Unless you don't like punching things, in which case, how dare you call yourself a Titan?